Greetings to the good people on social media. Welcome to our first installment of Real Talk about real estate with Peter and Nicole. We'll leave it to you to figure out who's who. Nicole, you just joined uh, the world of Instagram. Congrats on that. I did. Thank you. Um, it feels a lot like the first day of school where you're hoping you make friends and people will like you. So it's kind of scary, but given this new normal that we're living in, got to embrace the ways that are still available to be connected. Uh, so it was time. That's a perfect segue into what we're talking about today. Uh, off the cuff, real talk about what's going on at the ground level with real estate. We're going to hit you with some quick stats, about what's going on with the current market and then roll into some fact versus fiction to clear up some misnomers. Ooh, great work. Let's get at it. So 20% increase in showing activity uh, when we look at the last week compared with the week prior, people are getting back out uh, and starting to book more and more appointments. Uh, when we look at the last 30 days, so basically the end of April compared uh, to the end of March, we've actually seen a 63% increase in showing activity. Um, our viewers may be wondering what's going on with those dips. We actually figured out that they line up with Sundays. Yeah, and it's pretty interesting because it's not like people are going to open houses rather than booking showings, which would normally account for drop like that. Straight up, day of rest. So as one might expect with the increase in showing activity, we have a corresponding increase in the number of offers registered. Uh, although this trend is a little more jagged than the previous ones, we can still see uh, an increase in the last half of last month uh, with things starting to pick back up. Yeah, and it's important to clarify that these increases that we're talking about, they're month over month or week over week. Um, it is true that when we compare this period to the same time last year, the numbers are down um, by a big number. But the good news story here is that things really are revitalizing. So numbers are on their way up, but still down from last year. So what does this all mean? Introducing fact or fiction. Peter, fact or fiction? Prices have been plummeting since the onset of COVID-19. That is fiction. In most price categories, values have stayed the same and for the most part have actually continued to rise. So what's happened is, yes, the number of sales are down uh, by a big number compared to last year, but so is the number of new listings and by about the same proportion. So those supply and demand dynamics are similar to what we're seeing pre-COVID. Yeah, I think um, what's happened is a lot of people have gotten the shock factor reading headlines in the media like sales down 60% in March. Um, it's important to remember that that's number of sales. And because the number of new listings have also fallen by a similar percentage, that's largely why we're not also saying the sky is falling. No, well, at least not when it comes to real estate. <laughs> uh, yeah, and in fact, when we look at prices year over year, we've still seen an increase of on average 5%. Nicole, fact or fiction, bidding wars are a thing of the past. Also fiction. Again, because the number of sales and the number of new listings have fallen by a similar proportion, um, really all it's done is created a micro market of what we were seeing pre-COVID. So yes, it may have removed a large portion of the marketplace, but the dynamics are still very similar in that there's strong demand and limited supply. Yeah, and just last week, uh, a team member of ours participated in an offer presentation with 22 offers. Uh, now, that's a little extreme for right now. Mostly what we're seeing in competing offers uh, is two or maybe three offers against each other. Peter, fact or fiction? You are known to arrive to appointments on your motorcycle. That's fiction. Uh, despite all those pictures on my Instagram of me and my motorcycle, uh, I'm at every appointment in my car with a suit and tie. Fiction for the win. I do think that you should start uh, showing houses on your motorcycle. 
the weather is nice. And if I was your client, I would instantly think you're a rock star. That would have literally nothing to do with the motorcycle. <laughs> All right. I think that's a wrap for this installment of Real Talk about real estate with Peter and Nicole. Remember, if you put on clothes today, you're ahead of the pack. Have a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers.